Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and this is going to be our first real Packet Tracer video. I know I have other Google Hangouts where we spent a couple hours talking about Packet Tracer, but this is the first actual pre-planned lesson. It's going to be about 10 minutes long, probably a little bit less, aimed at beginners. So people going for a CCNA mostly. And the more beginner you are, the better, actually, because I'm assuming that you don't know anything about networking. So we're going to start from ground zero. So what Packet Tracer is, it is a simulator made by Cisco. Current version is 5.3.3 as of December 23, 2012. Simulates routers, switches, and computers. And the reason we like to use a simulator if you're a beginner, is that practicing on real gear, there's two problems with that. One, it's expensive, and you may not have the money or you may not have access to the real gear. Also, it is dangerous to play with real gear, especially in a production environment. So if, you have, uh, if you're at work and you do have Cisco routers and switches, most likely they connect to servers and people and if you start playing around with the settings, you're going to make a lot of people mad at you. So you might even lose your job. So that's why we like to use a simulator right here. And Packet Tracer is, uh, it's really easy to use and it provides kind of like a stepping stone for more complicated programs like GNS3. GNS3 is what you're going to be using most of the time as you get more in-depth into CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. So I'm assuming you've already started it up Packet Tracer, you found it somewhere on the internet. And after you install it, it's pretty easy install, just click yes, yes, yes. And you'll be presented with this menu right here. It's divided into a couple pieces, the center big white piece right there, that is your workspace. That's what you're going to be dragging in things and connecting them up. You'll be dragging in four main devices. In the bottom left-hand corner, this is where you select your devices. This is going to be routers, switches, end devices, which are usually computers or switches, and then connections. Connections are what uh, will connect all your different devices to get them to talk to each other. This little strip over here, when you click on, let's say, routers, you'll see that you have a selection of routers. If you click on switches, you get a selection of switches. And as you probably guessed, if you click on end devices, you get a selection of IP phones, computers, laptops, that type of stuff. In a future video, we'll actually look at some of these devices in detail. But for now, we're just kind of taking a quick overview of the, of the interface here. In the right side and also in the bottom right corner, You've got things where you could run simulations and watch packets as they travel through your network. Usually I don't mess with this stuff and actually what I do is I turn them off to give myself more space to, uh, to see things. So the way you do that is you go up to here, go to view, toolbars, and as you can see if I nuke the bottom toolbar, that goes away. I can always get it back by clicking on the bottom toolbar. But the one I usually kill is on the right side that's the right toolbar, so get rid of that. In this little taskbar area right here, we have options like save. You can print out your topology after it's all nice and neat. And we get other things like undo, redo, zoom, and all that good stuff. But the one thing you should change right away when you're dealing with Packet Tracer right after you install is go to options and preferences. You see this little option right here that's unchecked always show port labels. Make sure you check that. It, it makes your life a lot easier. And let me show you what I mean here. Then just click that X there. So let's say I drag in, I click on routers and I drag in two 1841s. Now if you don't know exactly what an 1841 is, don't worry about it. It's basically a very easy to use router. It's a kind of a small business home office type router. Very cheap. Well, in the Cisco world, it's cheap. And then we're just going to connect them up. And I'm going to use this here. And you can see here it says fast 
FA00 to FA00. That's good. I want to see these labels because later on, it's going to make my life a lot easier, a lot less uh, flipping around and, and looking up diagrams and stuff like that. All right, so that is the option you want to set options, preferences, and show port label, or it's actually always show port labels. Make sure that's checked. Okay, so let's take a look at some other things we've got up here in the file menu. You can save whatever you do. And then what's nice about this is if you save these files, you can pass them along to your friends, you can email it, and so they can practice the same stuff that you can. Also, there's quite a few websites out there that will have pre-made packet tracer files. So you can download them and play around with CCNA level type stuff. Go to edit, you have your standard copy and paste. Options, other than preferences, I don't mess with any of these things. Zoom, I've already showed you about the toolbars that you can get rid of and pull back. Zoom is pretty nice, you can zoom in or out. So we could do this in the toolbar here. Pretty self-explanatory. Drawing palette, I don't usually mess with that. And extensions. Another nice thing about Packet Tracer is you've got this multi-user mode, which kind of lets a teacher or teams fire up a packet trace and everyone can watch and edit stuff. It's a pretty interesting tool there. All right, so that was a quick and dirty intro to Packet Tracer. In our next video, I'm going to show you what happens when you drag computers into the workspace, and I'll show you what you can actually do with those simulated computers. Thanks for watching.